Well folks, Hester Ryan has just came wandering down the new footpath runs alongside the, the new railway and has brought him to the North Rig Road. Used to have some good days up the North Rig Road to know our lads. Used to come wandering across the moss there. Bird nesting, used to get the old skylarks, lap wings, curlews. Don't hear a bird, don't hear one bird now. It's all gone, don't know what's happened. Just now the same. The North Rig Road's not changed much. Got a story to tell from just about this area here, when we were young lads. Well, it must have been 10 or 11. And it also must have been the winter. Reason being, the story concerns the scattered ice across the road. The ice, of course, looked like glass, broken bottle, etc. So we scattered oh, loads of it. Somebody actually had a cork out of a bottle. Just planked the cork right in the middle of the road. And we just sat back and watched the area. Cars would take the bait, and <laughs> after about four or five cars just drove past, knowing it was ice. There's always somebody. One guy's come driving around that corner, spotted all the, the ice, which looked like glass, slammed on the brakes, got out of his car. Of course, by this time, we were off. <laughs> we were running through the reeds. The guy got back in his car after shouting a few obscenities. I think, to be fair, they'll be kicked all the ice off the road. Just a harmless, harmless prank. There's no no harm done. The things you got up to when you're younger. Like I said, you used to go bird nesting the way over yonder. Not a bird to be heard. I think I might just wander over there. Just came down the new track, the side of the railway. Didn't even know it was there. It seemed like it goes all the way to Blackridge and beyond. I don't know how far I'm going to venture, but I've walked about a mile or so already from the train station, which is over yonder direction. So, from the Northrig Road, beautiful day today, no ice today, it's 